There is no aspect of the law at which you can be bested. The word woman does not appear even once in the U.S. Constitution. Nor does the word freedom. Your Honor. Here comes the change. You know, I really do enjoy a true story, but the way it's told is what really matters to me. My name is Brandon Keith Avery, and this is just my opinion. Hey, what's going on, everyone? I want to thank you so much for tuning in to my opinion slash review on the basis of sex. I really do appreciate it. So we have on the basis of sex right here. I went into this movie a little bit blind because I only saw like half of a trailer. Um, I like to do that at times. Um, this is a very important film right now, especially with the uh, climate of society that we're living in right now. Um, the director of this film is Mimi Letter. Um, if you don't know her past work, she did uh, Pay It Forward and also Deep Impact, which came out in 1998 with Morgan Freeman. Really did enjoy that movie, so I was surprised when I uh, saw her name attached. Like I said in my intro, this is based on a true story, and it is the story of Ruth Bader Ginsburg and her struggle struggles struggles excuse me about how she's trying to get equal rights for women and uh, you know just overcome all the bs so that she can come become a u.s supreme court justice now the main character in this film is felicity jones a uh, very very great actress she is an academy um, award nominee for a number of films and it shows in this film if you don't know her previous work she did rogue one which is my favorite star wars film in these new uh, series that they have coming out every year the theory of everything she was the wife of stephen hawking and also the amazing spider-man 2 really in it there's really nothing amazing about that film um, other uh, than the title and actually this role was gonna go to Natalie Portman but for a number of reasons things didn't work out so um, it went to uh, Miss Felic uh, Felicity Jones and this film right here it deals with a lot it deals with race it deals with gender sex politics and all that good stuff and you know all of that will fall by the wayside if it wasn't for the actors on screen doing a great job and Felicia Jones she does do a great job that is the best thing about this picture that's really only the the good thing about this film that I you know that I enjoyed I mean it's not a bad film it's not you know just an outstanding film either um, but it is a great film just based off Felicity Jones performance and that's it and what I liked about Ruth is she's bold she's not afraid she's a fighter um, she Feel strong about what she believes in and just won't give up until she gets equal rights. And I can respect that. And I can relate to her in this film, not in the sense of a woman, just in the sense of, you know, being discriminated against. I mean, it just it, it makes no sense. You know, you when you're born into this world. Um, you, you know, you have a list of things that you have to accomplish in life if you want to so-called make it. And Ruth, she did everything that she was supposed to do. She studied, she went to school, she put in the work. And not only did she do that, she exceeded all of her other counterparts, all of her other colleagues and classmates and things like that. All of her surrounding people, she was number one, but she was still treated like crap. It, it just doesn't make any sense. I mean, some of the, the treatment in this film is just so ridiculously rude i mean it just doesn't make any sense i mean you, you might as well just have some people come out of here and be like you know hey i'm a white supremacist i hate everybody including you no one used those exact words per se but if you read between the lines you know your jaw kind of hits the floor with this how unapologetic some of these people are especially dealing uh you know with this time where it takes back you know uh in the 1950s it's just it's really shocking you know but at the same time it's not shocking either but you know i I, I like how Miss Mimi Letter, the director, she wasn't afraid just to, you know, to put them like, you know, hey, you know, this is what it is. And then you have all these obstacles that women have to go through and it sucks. It's completely unnecessary and it should not exist in the world today uh, or this country. But then again, you have to think about it. You know, if it's that hard for white women, you know, there was one character that's moving like, man, it sucks for you guys, you know, but can you imagine I would much rather be, you know, you and your shoes, a white woman than a black man. Like, my goodness gracious, they have it even worse, which of course is true. And I appreciate that they put that in the film. But then you think about it. What if you're uh, what if you're a black woman? I mean, you already have it tough enough for being a woman, but then you're a black woman. So that's just that's double hardships. But then take it even 
further, not on, what if you're a woman? What if you're black? But what if you're a dark skinned black woman? That's even even worse. You know what I'm saying? So shout out to all my dark skinned, beautiful black chocolate sisters out there. I feel for y'all. I got nothing but love for you. But these are just some of the things that I was thinking about while I was watching this movie. So the film takes place from around the years of 1956 all the way to about 1970, uh, 1971. I like the passage of time. I like the transition of time. Um, they did a great job with the makeup and for as far as aging Felicity Jones, it looked real, it looked genuine. You know, I was convinced. You can also tell even without any dialogue, the mental strain uh, that Ruth Ginsburg had to go with in those 10 plus years of her doing everything when she was in law school, trying to become a lawyer, trying to change society, the, the minds of the American people, you know, for freedom and justice for all. And, you know, her not necessarily getting to the finish line that can take a toll on you mentally. And there was just one scene that she's walking down the hallway and you can see it all over her face and just kind of shows, you know, just how great, you know, her performance was. Something else that I liked is how they separated the mindset of uh, specific uh, generations, you know, one being uh, uh, Ruth Ginsburg and then the other being her daughter. I know Ru Ruth went about things a certain way, but when it became to the 70s and her daughter, um, you know, was becoming, I guess, a political activist activists and you know just trying to get involved with women rights and things like that they had completely different ideals and handled things differently and they addressed that you know and i, I liked it i kind of liked the mother-daughter relationship there um but just to i know this is a true story um but one thing i, w I was really ticked off with the daughter I, I felt that she was completely disrespectful to her parents uh in a number of ways i'm just saying to myself okay there's no way in here i would be able to talk to my mother or father like that without getting knocked across the room um so, I mean, that's that, but, you know, it is a true story. I should be talking about the movie itself. Well, the way they put it on screen, you know, I, I, I liked it. Um, it c gave life to a number of the characters. Uh, Army Hammer is in this film as well as her husband. He does a great job as well. Um, you know, nothing too special. Uh, Kathy Bates is in this film as well, and, you know, her performance is special as well. If she's only in it for just a, a minuscule moment, just for a, a brief a few seconds, but um, her her involvement in this film uh, was very impactful I liked it uh, she's pretty much great in everything that she does and um, you know I, I like the message that this film uh, was trying to deliver to its audience not just to uh, women but to everybody um, it, it was a good message just to always just fight for what you believe in and, you know, just present facts and data. You know what I'm saying? I mean, even if, you know, you have a mission that you feel strong and passionate about, it may not work out the first time. But if you remember why you started in the, you know, in the first place, you know, you can apply this to a lot of things. You still may be able to accomplish something. You know what I'm saying? Um, it, it's just also uh, just a great example of. Uh, reaping what you sow and what goes around comes around. Uh, I am a believer in karma. If you treat somebody like crap, or if you treat me like crap, I may not be able to see it down the line, but I'm pretty confident that sometime in the future, you know, that's just going to come around and bite you. And, you know, those are just some of the elements in this film. Um, th th to be honest with you, there were some times where it was dull and, uh, I was kind of clock watching or watch watching. Um, I was getting a little irritable in my seat, actually got up, walked down the stairs and got into the little hallway and was kind of stretching and things like that and trying to swing my arms around. That's only the second time I've done it in my entire life. I don't know why I was so tired. Uh, but other than Felicity Jones performance, you know, there was just some other things in the film that just wasn't popping out at me. It was a good film. Um, it wasn't a great film. Uh, but Felicity Jones does deserve some type of recognition. Um, and the ending is great. You know, I liked it. They had some real life footage. Uh, Ruth, um, uh, uh, excuse me, Ruth Bader Ginsburg is still alive today. Uh, I think I read some news yesterday that she just, you know, got out of some surgery for, uh, to remove a type of cancer. So, you know, she's still trucking along. Um, if I had to rate on the basis of sex out of a one out of 10, I'm going to give it a seven out of 10. Yes, a seven out of 10. But guys, that is just my opinion. Have you seen on the basis of sex yet or do you want to see it? Have I turned you on? Have I turned you off? Do you agree with me or do you disagree with me? Let me know down in the comment section below. Let's get this conversation going and keep it flowing. If you like this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. If you don't, that's fine, but you can still subscribe to my channel. Also, look me up on social media, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. 
all the good stuff is right there at the bottom of your screen and i made it very easy by providing links to all that down in the description box below because i just want to thank you again for tuning into my opinion slash review of on the basis of sex and before you go don't forget that my name is brandon keith avery and that's just my opinion peace